What's up guys, it's around 6.30 in the morning. Got a real simple plan today. We're gonna throw that wooden swim baits we're at, shallow and around docks. The water's cooled off a little bit and it's still early enough that it's only like 80 out. And the water is cooler than 90 degrees right now. So we're gonna go for a shallow bite and a dock bite and see what happens. Anyways, we're gonna see what we can do. I got an hour, hour and a half, and then I gotta take my boy to school and uh, hopefully we'll get something on camera for you guys. Stay tuned. Ooh, just got a bite. Oh, come on, come back for it. That was a total reaction strike. He just came out, and smacked it, and then jumped right back in. Come on. Come on. So you guys that still fish traditional gear, when something like that happens, you're throwing these big baits and you get, say it's a topwater, and you get a blow up like that. A lot of times, you know, just like anything, a buzz bait or anything like that, you know, have a, have a follow-up bait up on deck, ready to go. I don't have one tied on today, but sometimes a follow-up bait for me would be like a soft plastic floater or a super, super slow sink soft plastic in a small profile. Yeah, because he's not hitting this again. I gotta let him rest for a second. Maybe come back to it in an hour or something. So, eh, well, oh well. I'll come back to him. Biggest thing with this rat is I work it around ambush points. I'll work around corners of docks and then I'll run down parallel right in front of the docks or corner, corners of these boats and in the little pockets, like in the little shade spots. Just flip and pitch it in there. You gotta think about where those bass will be sitting, waiting for something to come by them or waiting for a rat to fall in and start swimming, you know? One swim baits 125. It works. Eh. He's not huge, but it'll do. It's about two and a half. Eh, maybe two. Probably two. Just throwing it, <clears throat> throwing it right in front of this big long dock, and. Uh, running it right in front. And he shot out and nailed it. He uh, he T-boned it, man. He got both hooks, one in the corner of the mouth, and then I think he got the other one in the bottom of the, in the top of the bottom lip. So anyways, not huge, but it's good. It's a good start. I opened up the gap on the joint a little bit, and it's got a little more wiggle to it, a little louder knock. I like it a lot. So let's put this guy back in. So I found with that wooden, with the uh, the rat, that like I said, I opened up the joints and I like it a lot better. You can you can reel it a lot slower and it still gets that knock. It gets more of like an a clack to it. It's got more of an S shape. It wiggles a little better, so it's pretty good, man. Uh, kind of a slow day. That one was maybe two pounds. He was little. Um, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna work this cove for a little bit more because I see some life in here. There's bluegill popping around. There's a ton of fry. There's a ton of baby bass. Um, <clears throat> I think this big long dock. I 
even though I'm sitting right on top of it right now, I think this big long dock is key. So I'm gonna work it all the way down, see if we can't pick up another one and then we're gonna move spots. Missed it again. Got him that time. Came back for it. Rotating hook hangers on that thing are great, but they also make it kind of hard to get the hooks out sometimes if they're flopping around like crazy. And uh, I didn't feel like getting a hook in my hand, so he missed it the first time and I pitched it back in uh, twice in the corner and just really slowly twitched it. And he uh, shot back out and nailed it, so. Well guys, that is probably it for today. It's dark. That's probably it for today. I gotta get going to work here pretty soon. But, oh, I thought I'd sit down for a second. Let me fix this. It was an interesting day. I had three strikes on that wooden swim baits rat. No, two strikes on that wooden swim baits rat. Both of those guys missed it, and I don't think it was my fault. I think it was just them not really committing. You know, they're kind of just swiping at it. I was throwing at the corners of docks. And they just kind of, they just wanted it out of their area and they would come up and swipe at it. And that was it, they weren't really biting it. And then the two fish I did get was a totally different bite. They charged, they charged out from underneath docks straight to it and T-boned it. So that was much different bite. They were both small, what can you do? I'm tired, I've been up since five. I gotta work till 10 tonight. It's gonna be a long day. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below also. Uh, the best discussion, the best questions are asked in the comments. I love engaging you guys. I love going back and forth and talking with you. One thing I will say, and I'm going to set a precedent for the channel right here, right now. Uh, in the last 48 hours, I have had multiple troll comments, multiple really negative, really bad comments. And I immediately removed and banned them. I, myself, am a super positive person and I want to portray that in my channel. I want to portray that to you guys, my audience. I love life. I love fishing. I love swim baiting and I want you guys to love it too. And so I don't want the comments ever, ever, ever to be a negative space. As long as I can and as long as I am able to, I will police it. I'll, I'll delete them, I'll take them off and I'll ban them from the channel. I want you guys to be able to go in the comments Go back and forth with me. Go back and forth with other subscribers positively. I just want you guys to have a good time in the comment section. And if you guys have questions, I want to be able to answer them in a educational, informative, positive way. I don't ever want negativity on my channel or in my comments section. As long as I can possibly control it, I will. So yeah, it's all good days here, man. No negative feelings. No negative attitudes, PMA, every day. That's how we live. Thanks you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It helps get it out there and share it on social media. Tell your friends about it, all that good stuff. Till next time.